Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another requested video. Well, kind of requested. I've had uh, Pez123 get in contact and he's asked me to do a Lamborghini Huracan drift setup. I did go away and play around with the Huracan, see what I could do. To be honest with you, I'm not a massive fan of it. Certainly as a drift car, it just doesn't seem to work. I didn't want to disappoint though, so I had another look through what Lamborghini had to offer and I came across the Diablo. Being rear wheel drive, it looked like it was going to be a little bit more suitable for drifting and I'm pleased to say it works really well. Like I always say on these drift setup videos, uh, what I've come up with here is what I use and it's certainly what I think is the best setup. But equally, everyone has their own tastes and there might be um, a few adjustments you want to make for your own style. But go ahead, uh, that's what these videos are for. I would like to ask a favour of you all as well. Um, basically, I do cover a lot of GT Sport on the channel. Obviously, I love the game, um, particularly the drifting side of it. But hopefully I will bring in uh, a few more racing aspects as well because uh, at the moment I don't cover that at all. But what I'd really like to hear from you guys is whether there's any other games you'd like to see me covering um, in the future or whether there's anything out already that you think I should be playing. Um, just let me know down in the comments section and I'll try and address it. And if there's anything that sort of catches my eye, maybe I'll do a, um, you know, a series on it. What I'll do now is take you over to the settings and I'll discuss what I've come up with a little bit further. So with the Diablo, I've actually kept this one really simple. Um, in terms of power, it already comes with absolutely loads. So just leave it as it is, but just take it all the way up to 109% there. And that'll give you 623 brake horsepower, which seems to be more than enough for uh, what I needed anyway. Uh, with the weight reduction, again, I've just left that the same. Now it is quite heavy, it's one, um, 1,460 kilograms, uh, but obviously that's with me reducing it down to 98%. You can go and spend some mileage points on that if you want, but again, I found it pretty good as it is, um, but just do what you want with that. It's not going to affect it too much, but it might just make it a little bit easier to control. Uh, traction control for this build, like all of them, is set to zero. Uh, I've got comfort hard tyres, both front and rear. The brake balance remains the same at zero. Uh, in terms of the ride height, I've dropped that all the way down there, so you've got 65 on the front and 65 on the rear. The natural frequency, I believe, remains the same, uh, but you just have to check on yours, but it's 2.15 both front and rear. Uh, Anti-roll bars for this one, I've set to um, six front and rear. Um, you've got the compression and rebound remain the same there at 55, 55, 85 and 85. Uh, camber angle, which seems to be the norm for me at the moment, is set to three on the front, which seems to be working really, really well. And I've just put one on the rear there. Uh, toe angle is set out 0.2 on the front and in 0.2 on the rear. Downforce you can't adjust on this build. Um, in terms of the differential, I've just left that, I believe, as it was at 10, 40, and 20, but just double check that again with yours while you're setting it up. And transmission wise, I've set it to fully customized. I've put the uh, top speed there to 168 and left the gear in um, to do its own thing there, and it all seems to be working really, really well. I hope you enjoy the settings and be sure to let me know if you do. As always, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Use the comment section, like I said before, to let me know if there's any other games you'd like to see me play. And drop me a like. It really helps these videos grow when you do. And I'll see you on the next one.